Hello, fourth graders. Today, Mrs. Lee is in front of the whiteboard in the art room, okay? and we are talking about the new focus artist that I introduced to you, to you last week. Do you still remember his name? Okay. This was the picture. Okay. His name was Pablo Picasso. Okay. Now, last week, uh, we worked on the blue period and the rose period. Okay. Now, this week, the Picasso's artwork that we are making a project out of is this. This is titled The Weeping, Weeping Woman or Crying Woman. Okay. And this is a, a portrait of a woman crying in a, a done in the abstract style. Okay. So this is what we're doing starting this week and we, we're going to uh, start this week and then try to finish it the next week. Okay. The art paper that you're using is this half sheet of quite white construction paper. Okay. And I also gave, gave your teacher this little tag that says, I am, my name is blank, and I am so blank. Okay. Now, because this is a self-portrait with emotion, we have to uh, decide what kind of emotion we're, we're going to draw ourselves with. Okay, so go ahead, take this tag first, and get your pencil, not a pen, because we might have to um, erase it or change it later. Okay, not your name, but the emotion part. Okay. So go ahead, write your name, just the first name only. Okay. And, oh, by the way, if you, if you have uh, friends with the same first name in your classroom, then you can write the... the the last name initial or the whole, the whole whole names first name and last name otherwise you can just write the first name okay. and i also want you to write your name on the back of this paper okay with the pencil um, on this one uh, you are going to write your first name and also will you put um, your t classroom teacher's last name mark, okay? Uh, for example, um, so uh, you, you can either put uh, R and circle that R, or B and circle that B. Depends on wh who's your teacher, okay? And, and let's talk about the emotions. Now, emotions that I want you to pick is out of these three. Okay, so you can either write mad, sad, or happy. Okay. Now, I don't care how many people are doing mad, how many doing people are doing sad. You just pick and choose. Okay, and then write one of those words over here after I'm so. Make sure you do it with a pencil. All right. And don't lose this tag. We're going to keep it uh, along with this art paper. So, uh, teachers, if you have a little paper clip, you might want to have them clip them together afterwards. Okay. Now, let's talk about the head shape first. Okay, so because this is a portrait, we're going to be drawing shoulder and up, shoulder, neck, and head. Okay, now we're going to start out with the head, head shape, but we cannot draw a normal head shape. Usually, the human head shape is kind of oval looking. We cannot do that. We have to purposely change it into something abstract. Okay means not real <laughs> okay and here are my examples of what kind of shape that you can pick okay uh, any geometric shapes triangles upside down down triangles um, rectangles squares and you know whatever or just any random shapes okay potato shapes or whatever so uh, if you don't know what to do just pause the video and then pick 
one out of these shapes and you can even copy that. Okay. Now here are a bad example. These you cannot use. Okay. Uh, the first of all, you cannot draw a normal human head shape. That's too normal. Okay, don't do that. You cannot do anything that has a hole in the middle, okay? Because we don't have holes in the middle, okay? Or anything that's too skinny, there will be no room for eyes and a nose or nothing, okay? Or uh, extremely, like, out of a symmetry means left and right the same. Our, our face is pretty much uh, symmetrical, okay? So it's okay if it's a little bit different, but not this much. Okay, or nothing that's too complicated, or nothing that's weird things sticking out. Okay, so none of these. Don't do these. These are no-nos. So pick something like this. Okay, and today you are sketching with the cream colored chalk. I will give this to your teacher. And uh, you can sketch with, with this, so don't use a pencil, okay? And I also want you to be careful with the size. So here's upside down triangle, dude. <laughs> and this is done about the right size. It's drawn big right in the middle, but you still have a space for the hair on top, okay? Now this one right here is way too big, see? You, you're gonna run out of space for the hair, okay? And the head's way too big compared to the body. But this one is, uh, uh, that's a pinhead. You have to draw it bigger than that, okay? So not too small, not too big, but just right, okay? So go ahead and take care of the head and the neck and the shoulder, it does not have to be upside down triangle like this example. Just pick a shape and draw that much with the cream color uh, chalk stick. Okay, and um, if you make a mistake, you don't really have to worry about it too much because we're going to color over. But uh, if you're worried, uh, you can erase these lines actually with an eraser, but don't over erase it. Don't keep erasing over and over. You're going to damage the surface of the paper, so be careful. Okay. All right, so take care of that much. Okay. All right, now let's uh, start looking at this whiteboard. Over here, I'm going to show you three ways to. Uh, make your face into abstract style, okay? So uh, you just watch, watch my video very carefully, and after you w finish watching all these, okay, today's video, uh, then you can start working on your own, okay? And with this sketching chalk, got it? Okay, all right, so the first method is called combination, okay? Now, I'm going to draw I'm, I'm going to be out of space, so I'm going to draw a person's profile here. I'm just going to draw this curly hair a boy, like that, okay? And also I'm going to draw the same person. Where's the curly hair, same boy. Uh, looking straight forward like that okay so let's start with this okay now we're going to combine these uh, two faces facial parts now, actually this method is what Picasso did used for this example Okay, it's, this piece is done with a combination method. Okay. Now, so what I will do is first, well, let's just pretend that I have finished this much, okay? I'm gonna use upside down triangle face. And just to make it easier for you, I'm going to draw normal 
facial parts like that okay just like this guy okay all right now we're going to shift here and there the facial parts and make a combination parts now first instead of this nose I'm going to get this nose over okay so I'm going to get rid of the, the ear and I'm going to put this nose right here okay and I will keep the eye this eye just like this eye okay so this will this will come over here but this side I will bring this eye so this eye needs to be facing sideways, okay? And I will just leave the, oh, okay, let's see. I guess I can use this lip. If you want to, you can use that lip. But I think I'm going to use this sideway lip, okay? And I will take this here just like that okay so I just combine the profile with a straightforward face okay now we're not going to worry about hair and then clothes and all that it's coming those are coming uh, next time so this is called the combination method okay all right now don't start yet I'm going to give you three choices you can pick and choose okay the next method that you can use is called the baseball okay the baseball method for this I think I'm going to use the rectangle head okay so like the last time I'm going to start drawing the normal face okay so that looks pretty normal Okay. For this, we're going to imagine the baseball. Here's a baseball coming this side. And it flew right against your head and it hit you. It hit you so hard, your eyes got shifted. Oh no. Okay. And here comes another baseball coming this way. And it hit you. Ouch! And your nose got shifted. Oh, here comes the last baseball. You know what's going to happen. You can guess. Your lips got shifted. Okay? So for this, the shift happens left and right. Oh. I'm not even in the screen. Can you see that now? Okay, left and right. Okay. All right, so that's a baseball ball uh, abstract shift. All right. The last one is called the earthquake. Okay. For this, um, I'm going to use, let's see, what should I use? I'm, I'm going to use, uh, a potato head yeah I'm going to just use a potato head okay like that okay. now have you been in real earthquake before I'm from Japan and we have quite a bit of earthquake happens okay so I've been in the real thing but if you have not been in the real thing uh, maybe you, you've seen that in the movies or the TV okay I want you to imagine that the earthquake is happening in your classroom right now. Okay. So I'm going to start out with the normal face again. Okay. Here's a normal face. Okay. And things start to shake really, really hard. Books are falling off the shelves and you have to hide under the desk and everything. And it shook so hard cracked your head. Okay. So if you're doing the earthquake, 
the first thing you do is give a crack to divide the whole shape, the, the head shape, into half. Okay? And so for this, the shift happens up and down. Okay? So it shook very hard. One of your eye went up and the other one went down. The nose got cracked into half. The one went up, one went down. And the lips got cracked too. It got, it's gotten divided. And this ear dropped and this ear went up. Okay, so that is how you shift in the earthquake method. Now you may you have to choose one of them. Okay, you cannot combine all these. Just pick one of them. And notice my shifts are very subtle. Okay, I never put the the eyes below the nose and lips on the head. I never did that. We're not trying to turn you into an alien. Okay, so you. The, these facial parts odor stays uh, close to you, close to normal, but then you still have to shift a little bit, okay? When you do it, you don't have to start out with a normal face position, okay? I just did that just so that you will see how it's going to be shifted. All right, now, so pick one method, and this is not it, okay? I still have to show you how to put in the emotion parts. Now. This guy, I think I'm going to do happy face, okay? You don't have to draw all these, okay? All right, uh, to show the different emotions, uh, the things that will change will be eyes and eyebrows and the lips, okay? Nose and ears, okay? You, you're not gonna change that. Wouldn't that be scary if you're happy or sad, your nose start wiggling or your ears going up and down? That's never happened. That's not going to happen to you. Okay. So it's just the eyes, eyebrows, and the lips. Okay. So I will make this guy happier. Right now, he just he seems pretty calm and normal and doesn't show much emotion. But by turning his lips really wide, and you can uh, eyes will stay the same. You can make the eyebrows more rainbow shaped if you want to. Okay, now, if you want to, you can even show some teeth for smiling. Okay, that's about it for happy, see? He looks much happier now. Now for this guy, I'm gonna turn this, oh, not bad, sorry, <laughs> mad. This guy, I'm gonna make him into mad. Okay, when you're mad, your eyebrows go boing like that. Your eyes are <laughs> like that. And your lips will be, you can even go <laughs> like that. Now he looks really mad. Okay. All right. So the last one left. Let's turn him or her into sad. Okay. When you're sad, your eyebrows will go down. Oh. And your eyes will go down. Oh, oh. oh no. And your lips will turn down. Oh, I'm so sad. How's that? Okay. And you, you can even add some teardrop if you want to. Okay. So. Now you are ready to sketch with the sketching pastel. Now you have to remember a lot of things that I taught you. So first, okay, pick one of the method, earthquake, baseball, or combination, okay? And then when you draw the, the eyes and eyebrows and nose and ears and lips, remember to include your emotion too. That emotion has to match the little tag that you have wrote. Okay, so if you wrote on the tag, uh, happy, don't just turn your, suddenly make your uh, drawing into mad picture, 
Okay. If you change your mind, then you have to erase the word on the tag and fix that too. Okay. So that's all I have. And we're going to stop right here for this week. That's a lot to remember. And then if you're done with the sketching pastel, give this to your teacher so that I can get it back. And um, return your art paper. Make sure your names are on with the tag. Okay. And we work on it next week. Next week, we're going to take care of background, clothing, hair, and we're going to color it. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Goodbye.